What's up guys, Sila here, and we are back with another kind of discussion based video, and this one is going to be on some very, 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 very interesting sort of developments that have happened over the, the past day that I've been asleep. So basically Blizzard have done the normal, they've trademarked a, a name, and normally when Blizzard trademarks something it means a new game or a new expansion. Now, we definitely won't see a StarCraft 2 expansion, we've only just seen one, and yeah, it's it's too close to see one of those. But, we are due for either a WoW expansion, or a D3 expansion, or a new game. So, and they've, they've uh, basically trademarked a new name, which is The Dark Below. Now, it could be a new game, but the fact that we've not heard anything of a new game until now would be kind of weird, the fact that they just randomly trademark a name out of nowhere, it'd be like, eh, what? What is this? So, it's definitely, in my opinion, it's definitely going to be an expansion, and we're going to look at this in terms of it just being a WoW expansion. Imagine WoW is the only Blizzard game that Blizzard have, and ignored the fact that it could be a D3 expansion. So we're going to take a look at what it could mean in terms of WoW expansion, and how it'd fit in. So the name of it is The Dark Below, um, so it would be World of Warcraft The Dark Below. Sounds okay. Doesn't doesn't really have the same effect as other expansions, in my opinion, like World of Warcraft, The Burning Crusade, The Wrath of the Lich King, The Mist of Pandaria. We're not even going to talk about Cataclysm. The Mist of Pandaria. I didn't, I didn't mind Cataclysm, but it's fine. We'll ignore that for the rest of it, the sake of everyone else. But World of Warcraft, The Dark Below. It's okay. It's okay. Um. So let's look at what it could be about. Well... It says the dark below, it doesn't say the dark above, or the darkness coming, or something like that, and that's what you'd imagine for the Burning Legion actually coming, and yep, that's what we're expecting to see, is a Burning Legion based patch, and um, the Burning Legion coming down, fireballs everywhere, they're like, prah, we're demons, oh. um, but I don't know if that's going to be the case, because of the dark below, it's something below us. It's not something above us. That I above would be something above. So, what that means to me is probably going to be what I thought it would be anyway. I had two ideas for what the patch would currently be about. The first was it was going to be, you know, we go somewhere else and we take the battle to the Burning Legion. The or, or I guess the Burning Legion could come to Azeroth, but it would feel a bit weird, especially since they've just revamped a lot of zones. Um, it'd feel weird for them to just be suddenly destroyed by the Burning Legion, so it, it wouldn't really make much sense. Um, so the Dark Below, to me, uh, the lore that we've still got on Azeroth to finish, there's a lot of lore, but the main storyline left on Azeroth is Enzoth, which is the last, well not the last, but an old god. He was um, the one who basically made Deathwing crazy. You know, he's been a part of a lot of things. He's involved with the Emerald Dream, I believe. He's like the cause of the Nightmare. Um, and then that'd also involve Ajara. So I feel it's going to be maybe maybe a South Shores based expansion, um, where we basically kill off Enzoth and we finish up the lore of the Emerald Dream. So it won't be Emerald Dream would just be like a part of the expansion. I never expected Emerald Dream to be a full expansion, just because there's sorry about that. Just because there's not a huge amount left to do in the Emerald Dream, um, I don't think they'd be able to spread it across a whole expansion. So I'd imagine Emerald Dream will be a patch. You know, um, it'll just be like a, a patch, a yeah, raid tier. We go into the Emerald Dream, we clear out whatever's left. And then the final patch would be us going to Enzoth and being like, pa, and then popping him in the eye. Um, and it'd also involve Ajara, and then Ajara would be the lead into the Burning Legion, because the Burning Legion is related to Ajara. So I could see that working quite well. Um, so it'd be like Enzoth, Ajara, and the Emerald Dream would be like the three raid tiers. Um, not sure if Enzoth or Jara would be the last one though. It could be like Enzoth is the last and then Jara is like, kind of like a bonus one like Sunwell Pato was. Because um, like Illidan was the, the major boss of the expansion then they added Sunwell Pato to kind of uh, carry on the, the story kind of thing. Um, so maybe. Maybe that's that's what the Dark Below could be. I'll, I, apart from that I can't really think what else it could be. I mean, unless the Burning Legion's underneath us, and they're just gonna, like, they've been, like, mole people, and they're just gonna pop up and be like, Burning Legion, surprise attack, but like, out of nowhere. Don't know why I'm doing my hands like this all the time. 
Um, so maybe, but I, I don't I don't see the dark below being anything else. And then if we do look at the fact that it could be another game, it kind of makes more sense to be a D3 expansion. Um, the name just kind of Diablo 3 The Dark Below. It sounds more fitting to me, um, and then it allows them to continue whatever story they've got in Diablo. There's some form of darkness below. So, let me know what you think. Is it going to be a WoW expansion, a Diablo expansion, or is it going to be a new game that we're just going to see out of nowhere? I doubt it, though. Seems though they've just made Hearthstone. I doubt we're going to just randomly see a new game um, out of nowhere. So, which one? Diablo 3? World of Warcraft? And if it is WoW, what do you think the story will be? Um, do you think it's going to be what I thought it was? Or do you think it's going to be something else? Let me know. I always find it interesting to, to see what ideas people come up with because everyone's unique. So next up we have uh, um, something else I wanted to talk about, but and yeah, you might notice I just had a quick shave. I thought it was going to be a good idea, but it wasn't. Um, okay, so also they have announced the end of the season, and uh, the season will end on the 27th of August. Now, normally what happens is the season ends, we get the new patch, either the same week as the season ends, or sometimes it's been the week after. And then a week into the patch, we get the next season. So, most likely we'll expect to see the patch on the 27th of August, or the 3rd of September. My money is on the 27th of August. Um, get the patch, and then the week after the 3rd of September will be when the new season actually starts. But if not, then it'll be... 27th is the end of the season, 3rd is the new patch, and the 10th is the new season. Did I say that right? 27th, the end of the season, 3rd, the new patch, and 10th, the new season. But it seems a bit too spread out. They've tried to avoid doing that recently. So I'd imagine it'll be 27th, new patch, and end the season, and the 3rd will be the end of uh, the new season starting. So there you go. Uh, prepare for that. If you haven't Valor capped, then do that, um, because you'll be able to stockpile Valor. You'll be able to get uh, the 3,000 Valor, and you'll have three weeks to do it from now. So make sure you are capping your Valor, so you can buy the, the new Valor items, or whatever you can buy. I think you can upgrade items. I don't think there is a new Valor vendor. I've not seen one anyway. Um, make sure you're doing that. Also, make sure you check out videos that are going to be upcoming. I'm basically going to be covering most of the things that are happening in the patch. I'm going to do kind of like a patch overview. Try to, anyway. Uh, so people have an idea of what's going on. And also, Ghost Crawler was interviewed yesterday. Where is it? The Mr. Ghost Crawler? Um, not on this page. Where is it? What is it? All this. Go away. It's it's being awkward. Unless they've removed it, which I doubt. Hold on, let me find this. You are not prepared. Where the... Oh. I think it might be back a page. I think we were past it. Ah, there it is. There it is. There it is. Let's scroll down. So I completely go past it again. A little retard. Okay. So, Ghost Crawler was uh, interviewed yesterday, and there were some very, 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 very interesting things that he said. Uh, I tweeted about one of them last night, saying the patch is going to be on the 27th or the 3rd of uh, September. I guessed it last night, because one of the things he said was, Valor points will not be converted to justice. Players who want to stockpile their 3,000 Valor better think, uh, better do that, and probably should start thinking about that. So, that was basically saying you'll have three to four weeks to do it. Um, so that was pretty much him saying the patch is going to be very, uh, relatively soon. Uh, other things he said was the those heirloom weapons we talked about the other day. They'll drop from Garrosh, but they'll be personal loot. So when you're killing, um, you'll have the normal loot table of Garrosh, and then you'll have these weapons that you'll you'll get yourself. So I'll kill him, and kind of like LFR, it'll kind of be like a little box that pops up. Well, I doubt it'll be a box, but you know, you'll kill him, and an internal loot will go on, and then it'll be yes or no. If yes, you'll get one of the items. If no, you won't get crap. And the first weapon that you'll get will be a item for your current loot spec. So if I'm rare, I'll have a chance of getting the two-handed axe, or whatever it is. And then once I get the two-handed axe from there on out, I could get like the gun, the shield, whatever. And then send it to my alts, and that's how it's going to work. 
I don't mind that system, that's that's not too bad, depending on how high the, the drop chance is, but I much prefer that. That solves the issue that I was worried about, the fact that um, guilds will be basically rewarded for taking a full raid of alts, that was my biggest concern. So they fixed that, and there'll still be the issue of people having an advantage during the leveling races, but the fact that like the way it works, I, I don't know, it won't be reliable enough to get the weapons that you need anyway. So it's just going to be luck based. And um, they've mentioned that the proving grounds is unbalanced for every spec, um, so shouldn't be used as a spec slash class ranking tool. But then they go on to say proving grounds could also be used to replace item level as a gating requirement for raid finder and other things. But they've basically just contradict uh, contradicted themselves. They said that some specs are going to have an easier time than others, but then said they're going to use it as a way to allow people into raid finder and stuff. Well, that's unfair. It doesn't give people the same uh, chance, you know? If, for example, the DPS one, I've been through this, um, not as burst classes are really, really struggling with it because you basically need your cooldown to one, and then the next one will need cooldowns as well, and you've got nothing, and your sustained DPS is terrible, so you're not able to kill them in time. Um, so it's going to suck for those classes, while other classes will look godlike, you know? So unless they look at that and give like some classes lower requirements, and that's okay, I don't mind that. But if they give everyone the same requirement in their proving grounds, unless it's a lower requirement than you'd expect, then it's going to be kind of difficult for some specs to get into L uh, LFR and others not to. So I'm not sure about that idea, but it does mean that the people who are doing it will have to be you know skilled enough to do it. Um, so it would gate a lot of the people who you know, are a bit new and don't actually know what they're doing with the class, but I don't know about that, like, I guess it'd force them to go and learn what they're actually doing, but we'll see, we'll see how that develops. Uh, most skills should be able to progress in a flexi raid, they also said Siege of Orgrimmar, the first four bosses are going to be um, easy-ish, so it gives people, you know, you'll at least be able to do the first three, four bosses, and then it'll get you know, extensively harder. So you're able to farm the first three at least um, to get your, your, gear, uh, your, your raid some gear. Um, scenarios might be somewhere where they're putting in flexi raids. Uh, connected realms, the, the virtual realms that we talked about a while ago. Uh, basically, they're going to be looking to merge smaller realms together in, instead of merging a big realm with a small realm and making it more overpopulated. They're going to take like two or three realms that are half functioning put them together, and then you have a fully functioning realm. That's the better way to go at it, uh, I, I like that. Uh, they're going to look to make professions easier to, to use as well, like level and change, because professions are a pain in the ass right now. Having to go from 1 to, what is it, like 700 and something? Um, I, I don't know the number. It's a lot. Um, it takes a very, very long time, it's very costly, and it, it just, you know, like, if people want to min-max, they have to swap the professions. It's like 20k gold just to swap. It's not very easy to swap or level up a new profession. And one of the things is when you're leveling a new character, it's very hard to level your profession with your character. You soon out-level your profession. Especially with, like, heirlooms and stuff now, it's near impossible to do a profession while you're leveling anyway. Uh, so they're going to look into making that easier as well. Hopefully they don't make it too, like, you can just speak to a vendor and swap your profession from one cap to another, but... Them, them adding methods like the the blacksmithing one where they added in a method where you could level for a ghost iron. I like that, you know, it simple things that just give you a, 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 another option of leveling the profession. Um, and the herbalism and mining change where you can do it in Pandaria but you only get like moats. And that's fine, you know, that those those work. So that is one of the changes there. And that is pretty much it in terms of the ghost crawl in, uh, interview that interested me. Uh, the other thing left to discuss is... This and had shaman. Why? Why my had shaman? They've nerfed my enhance. I'm I'm sad. They've nerfed the four piece for anyone who plays enhance right now. Um, in PVE, be be sad. Even in PVP, to be honest, be sad. Basically, enhance revolves around this. This doesn't matter anymore. If you're not interested in the enhance QQ, then thanks for watching, guys. Dear, but I'm goddamn QQing. Um. Enhanced 4 piece has been nerfed from 10 to 5%. That's a dramatic nerf. It kind of was a little bit strong at 10. Uh, it propped a little bit more than most other classes uh, tier sets, but 5% makes it one of the weakest now. And then they also went and nerfed our burst. So now we have no sustain DPS. It lowers our sustain and lowers our burst. 
and also the, the ability that works with our four set has been nerfed as well. So it's like a double nerf to the four set. Uh, Storm Blast has been nerfed from 480% to um, oh, sorry, 450% to 380. So that's a 70 percent nerf there. Lav Lash has been nerfed from 300 to 260 percent. Storm Blast has been nerfed the same five, uh, 450 to 380. And they also nerfed RPPM. If you don't know what RPPM is, um, basically trinkets in TOT work off a random proc per minute system. Basically, the more you attack, the higher chance you have of getting its proc. So haste was very, very good for enhance because we could cause our trinkets proc a lot more frequently. But they've nerfed the way that works now and the proc chance has been basically doubled. Um, giving us next patch, enhanced shamans are going to PvE with about a 20% damage loss from current. So if you're doing 200k now, you're going to be doing um, 160k. So that's that's substantial. Um, so we have weak AoE, our burst has been lowered, and our sustain has been lowered. Um, it's not currently looking too good for Enhance. Hopefully they give us another area where we'll get buffed. If they buff our AoE substantially, I would be fine with that. But they need to give some form of buff now because Enhance has dropped quite low with all these changes. I mean, Nova class has been nerfed by 20% going into the next patch. And it also affects PvP as well. And I think most of the changes are because of PvP people complaining, to be honest. And there's a few streamers who play Enhance who one-shot people due to, like, lucky procs and crits. Um, and that normally doesn't happen. Like, if you can, you know, if you are ready for an Enhance Shaman to, to burst on you, you either pop a defensive or you CT the Shaman. Um, you don't just let a, a shaman free burst on you because he'll do a lot of damage. Same with a red paladin, you know. It's very obvious when a shaman's about to burst and you just need to stop it. Uh, same with red, you know, pops wings, pops guardian, you, you know he's about to go ham. And you stop him from doing that. Um, and that's what people don't understand, like, so because of people complaining about Enhance being OP uh, in 5.4, even though it's not changed, it's actually been nerfed now. Um, it's the same way it currently is. It's been lowered on the... Um, the burst DPS side as well. So, kind of strange. Um, so it's going to have weaker burst, weaker sustain, and average AoE now. So there you go. Uh, so look out for more videos coming soon. I will be talking about the rest of the patch, things that you can, you know, things that are going to be coming out with the patch, and um, what you can do on day one, you know, things like that. Um, and people have been asking me to make a video on current tier, and I'll probably make one next tier uh, patch as well. On how to get your character leveled uh, geared when you get it to 90. So I'm gonna make a quick video on that at some point as well just talking about like what you can do when you hit 90, how to go about it but I might wait until 5.4 because it's gonna be a lot different to actually let her gear your character it's gonna be a completely different approach. So there you go, uh, look out for more videos coming soon, thanks for watching guys, see ya!